Kimmy Cap here and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do our first tutorial and I'll be showing you how I make my circles for all the towers and stuff is I love to build. So behind me you'll see my lovely block palette I usually use to texturize for my castle towers. So from the left to the right it will go from the down till up where the down part of my tower will look a bit more broken then the upper part would look more new and yeah okay i'll just be taking for now the stone i love doing all my layers of what's gonna happen like my first layer to be all the same block <laughs> and when i build the tower and then i do my texturizing i'm gonna go from very small to a bit bigger and let's start like as small as I think you can do <laughs> will probably be this and um, yeah it's mostly like a one by one or three by three like you can make it like a normal three as well this would look nice and actually it would look a bit more sturdy for when you come on top and you want to make a bit of castle type of details but if I do like three by three type of blocks, I love to put them like just one apart, which would actually make it like five by five. I just keep like the corners there. Mm, so something more like that. And when you tend to go like bigger than this, you will each time add like a little block between before you start the new one and this is mostly how you keep it look a bit more circle like it's a bit harder like how smaller you build to make it look rounder and the larger you build you can add more detail to make each time look more round i think this one here is one of the most i use to build my towers Although sometimes I prefer like doing it a five, like one, two, three, four, five, and then add one, one, two, three, four, five. At the end, I would usually prefer adding a five or a seven. One, two, three, four, five. Like at this end, I would, for the smallest one, add five. Then if you go bigger, you can go 7 or 9. Like, if it's really big, even 11. <laughs> I will notice I like to keep my builds in uneven numbers. It just makes your builds work out a lot more if you always build in uneven numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so this is when it gets a bit more complicated. Like, the bigger you go, like, the more you will add. And usually I end it like, if I have a 5, I'll add a 3, and a 2, and then a 1. But if you go bigger, it will be 3, 5. If you even want to go even bigger, I'll add a 7, and then a 9 and such. But for now, let's do... Oops, my bad. There you go, Mr. Grass. <laughs> but... Now I'll just add the 2, and then the 1, 2, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 1, and just go like this all around, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and there we go. So this is how it looks a bit bigger. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like with all my organic type of stuff is I like to keep like what's next to them, next to that. Like even one bigger will just add like a number three there. And then it'll kind of stay the same. With most of the stuff is like if you have ones, you can even put an extra one here. Okay, let me show you guys. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. You can even add a few twos if you want, like two twos. 
if you have ones, you can add a, a few more ones. But I will always go from like five, three, two, ones. Even if you add a bit more of the others to make it a bit bigger. And then from the ones you will go to the twos again. But you won't like always go like three here already or five even unless you want to make a different type of organic type of shape or such and not a circle but you can play around but for today for circles you'll usually keep with this type of um, pattern you have so one two three you can even add more frees here but usually if you do a circle like please remember what you've done here you've only did one free here two twos three ones two twos so you should keep this like just one free if you want to make a circle that will nicely touch and then you can go all around there so that's kind of the basics I could tell you about building circles and if you just build them up Okay, <laughs> there you go. So this is the one I mostly use, but if you want, you could always, like I said, one, two, three, four, five, add like even more of the ones next to it. If, of course, I'm not using the two, one, two, three, four, and it still look as uh, a circle. <laughs> like a circle and yeah although don't add too much because the ones next to each other tend to make a straight line I would say for the five one the two actually looks nice for one is probably still a bit more block like I think the two ones a bit more circular but I don't always have the space for that <laughs> Uh, I think at max you can maybe do three for the five one. Okay. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, so for what, what top part when I usually love to do my castles on top of a tower. Say I do this like I do each second one. Okay. Oh, I forgot to add my slabs <laughs> in the palette, but it will be the same for this uh, castle stone as well as the normal stone. And I'm gonna do the same here. This is why I love it, even numbers because you do at the edge, in the middle, and at the edge. Like even if it's seven or nine, it'll both add come at the ends, and the rest will be nicely separated in the middle. Um, slab. And between each one of these, I like to add a little slab. Like you can do your castle stones however you want to. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but I prefer doing mine just like this. I'll do the same on this one. There you go. Okay, I'm not gonna do my extra top layers I usually do. But I wanted to show... After I've like usually brought this up, I add a little slab to make it look castle-like kind of like that and for these ones we can put one there like you skip each one this is what I like about the one where we added two of them although for the one that we added just one you'll see that if you add on the edges there will be two here and I usually don't put one of those and just skip them 
So I'll just put it on these ones. And this way, that one is probably a bit better with the spacing. But for this one, you can take this slab here and just make it a castle stone as well. And you can, even if you want to, like add one there. And yeah, <laughs> well, this is usually how I do my circles and my castle stones. Although, if I do the texturing, like from the bottom bottom, I'm gonna use a color palette I showed you guys before. But I like to add like a bit of mossy. I usually don't go, especially if it's the small. Let's say about hmm, quarter of a bolt. I don't want to go higher than that with a cobble, oh, with a mossy cobblestone. So I'll just roughly add here and there. And the next one, which is second broken down, like this will be the most broken down and kind of looks like it had a bit of water as well, which made the master such. And then without the water damage, we'll just have the broken down ones, which are going to be the cobble. So it'll mostly be like this. You can even later, like, push stairs and slabs and anything, make some going out or such <laughs> as if it's even more like grounded into the ground or such like let's say something like that all around and then i'll take my andesite like that's a broken down one just before the stone although in this case the stone will be the one that's not broken down because we're using stone to go up but if I do use like this castle stone, I use the normal stone to make this one look broken down. And I don't really like to use the cracked one for some reason. I use the normal stone for that. And for these ones, I just use the cobble, the mossy, and the andesite. <laughs> oh, so that's my texturing tips I can give you guys. And please let me know in the comments if this has helped you guys. And maybe you've used this or such. <laughs> oh, I would love to see what you guys are building and such. Well, until next time. Meow meow. Meow meow. Give me cups is meow meow meow. Give me cups is meow meow meow. Don't forget to like and subscribe.